Mr. Beagley. Hey there guys and gals, it's Gerbeagly with another episode of Gaming with Gerbeagly and I'm once again playing another random one shot from over on Itch.io. This is a game called Coming and Going and this is actually a game about going home for the holidays and how wonderful that experience can be but simultaneously how physically and mentally and emotionally draining it can be which is very true. Me personally, I love to go home and visit my folks anytime that I can especially over the holidays when everyone's like in a good, you know, fuzzy mood every Everything just feels awesome but then you get there and everyone is like trying to catch up all at the same time and it's still great but at the same time you're pulled in so many different directions that it's kind of hard to keep your energy levels up so yeah that's what this game is about I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna get started here I like this little like menu screen that it's designed like a room but yeah start game let's go see what our families like in this game big old white screen so far so Maybe they're ghosts. Oh, here we are. Okay. <laughs> this must be us putting along in our our nice little car here. Arriving at nighttime. Beautiful. Okay. All right. I hear the sounds of people. Oh, this is a nice little place that we got here. Our parents got or whoever. Ooh, fruit in the bowl. I can't get any of that. Can I interact with anything? Open the fridge. No. Okay, that's fine. I hear all the people, I don't see anyone. So I'm assuming that it's just supposed to be like the ambient noise represents that everyone's hanging out together here, having a jolly old holiday time. Got some good tunes on. Looks like someone made a lot of good food here. Ooh, we got like turkey or maybe chicken. Got some pie. We got a whole bunch of other stuff here and we can click that. Oh, there's like a little dinner fork. Okay. Oh, is this like a mini game? Oh, interesting. Cool. All right. Oh, okay, so my my cursor turns into a fork when I scroll over stuff. Oh, yeah, a plate full of salad. Yum, delish. Let's eat that. And we got a little stomach icon in the corner that's filling up as I eat. Oh, maybe I'm supposed to keep my belly full. Are these like what, scalp potatoes? And then like meat? Ooh, yummy, delicious. Ooh, I'm on just, I'm just gonna get a plate of like meat. That's a lot of meat right there. Ooh, I'm real full. Oh. Can I click on the water? My icon changed. Oh, you can. Okay, interesting. And that empties my belly. That's weird. I don't know why. Why does that empty my belly? All right, take a sip of water, eat some more food. Take a sip of water, eat some more food. Sip of water, more food. Oh yeah, delicious. That's great. I have an unending cup of water here. <laughs> just gonna sip it forever. What happens when the stomach gets back to zero? Oh, it just ends. Okay, there's a little arrow here. So I just had myself a nice big meal, a giant plate of meat. Delicious. We'll move on. So this is made up of little mini games, I guess, with the little sparkles. That's really cool. I like that. So I'll be walking around. I'll be experiencing the world, experiencing the home. And then I have things to do all over the place. What's this? Ooh, in our drink on, I see. What's this? Some whiskey or something like that? Whiskey on the rocks, please. Something good. Your finest, finest alcohol. Oh, can I do anything with it? Oh, uh oh, no. Oh, I thought that was gonna slide off the table. That's what it looked like. Okay, uh, can I drink it? I'm clicking on it and it's not letting me drink it. Anything else I can do? Doesn't seem like it. Hmm, that's weird. I wonder why. All right, well, moving on, I guess. That's all I had to do there was pour myself a little glass of something or other and not actually drink it. Now I got my buzz on, it's time to party, guys. Where's that music? Where's the dance room? Yeah! <laughs> okay, so we got uh, some sparkles on the couch, or there were sparkles on the couch. They went away. Oh, maybe, all right, so I think I'm understanding. This is the limited energy aspect. Like, I can choose which, oh God, I was in the fire there. Ah, it's so toasty to be in the smoke inhaling that and also being on fire. Um, so I guess I have only limited energy to be able to do things. So there's gonna be more activities than I can actually do in a day or night. Okay, cool, interesting. I'm just seeing if I can open any of these doors. Doesn't look like it. That's fine. I'm, a I'm guessing this is my bedroom. Time to go to Betty Bide. Nothing much in here. It's my suitcase. All right, time to take a, a quick rest. Get our energy back so that we can only do two more of the three tasks that it will give me each day. That's my guess as far as the pattern at least. Okay. Oh, and my suitcase is open. And we got, yeah, the bright, bright sunlight out there. Oh man, my eyes, it hurts. Feels like I just went to sleep. 
just a couple seconds ago. Who's burning a candle unattended? Excuse me, mom, dad. Very, very, that's irresponsible. You taught me better growing up. Ah, oh, the fire is burned down. What's this? A f it's like a freaking rose or something. Some abstract art. Gosh, mom was always into that artsy fartsy crap. And we got more smooth jams going on. Nothing else in here. Okay, this room's open. Ah, we can watch the boob tube. Okay, and what's this? Photo journal. Ooh, cool. Let's look at our childhood memories. None of which I'll remember because this isn't actually my life. Uh, that time you almost broke your leg. Oh, okay. Uh, everyone finally went to bed and you got some time alone. That sunburn hurt for weeks. Your aunt lost her favorite earrings and everyone had to spend a good hour looking for them. Oh, okay. So I select these different pictures here and I have to find which ones match the description. Is that what it's saying? Maybe. I, I don't know. Okay, so some time alone. Time alone, huh? For everyone went to bed and time alone would probably be this nighttime photo, yeah? Yeah, that snaps right in there. Good. Okay, that time you almost broke your leg. What was I doing when I almost broke my leg? Skiing! That sounds like something that would be dangerous and painful, possibly. All right, probably don't want to put it over the caption. There we go. Uh, sunburn hurt for weeks. Hmm. Oh. You know what? Probably the beach here. Oh, get out of the way, other pictures. Yeah, that seems all sunburny. And my aunt lost her earring like a stupid idiot, and then we all had to look for it. Uh, how about in the marketplace? I think that's what this is. Yes. Look at those great family memories. Wonderful. Great. Beautiful photo album. Love it. All right, we'll move on from that activity, though. Maybe watch some TV now. Ah, photo journal. All done. Okay. Oh. That was weird. I got to watch the sparkles disappear. Cool. Oh, and dinner is served yet again. Now are the sparkles back over here on the couch. No. And this fire is, is pretty dismal. It's a tiny, stinky fire. Nothing like the first one. Still got our jams, though. All right, let's eat some food, I guess. Get a full belly again. Fill ourselves with energy. I mean, you got to eat at some point in the day, right? Okay, today, trying a new vegetarian diet. Vegetarian diet. Only salads. Oh, yeah. Delish. Oh, full belly. Leaving the dinner table. The dog can eat the rest. The dog can have the scraps. <laughs> All done with that. Okay, sure. Anything else I can do? Ooh, more drinking? Ah, here we go. Now we can do the couch one. What's that? Some coffee? A little bit of coffee on the couch in front of the fireplace? Nothing screams the holidays like a good old, you know, cozy couch with some nice, nice fire. And cocoa or coffee? I think it's cocoa. It's got marshmallows in it. Oh, delish. So good. Just keep sipping on it. I'll drink it real fast. Burn my throat. Why not? Delicious. It's, I think we're empty now. Tapped out. See you later, beautiful scene. I like that one. That seemed nice and cozy. Okay. So that's all the couch was. And now... Oh, we can still take a drink if we want. We can still get crunk. Yeah, gotta gotta have the nightcap, guys. So this time I have a little bit extra energy. Maybe it's because I went to, uh, or I left the dinner table when I had a full belly instead of an empty one this time. Maybe that was all my energy in there. All right, let's top me off. Oh, God, you missed totally. Bartender, barkeep, yeah, you're, yeah, you're not even getting close to it. Do I have to try to take the cap off or something? No, that doesn't work. Okay. Great drink. Glad that it made it to my mouth and everything. <laughs> okay, so that is probably our night. I'm guessing there aren't any other activities to do. That's okay. I'm all tuckered out. It's time to hit the hay. Here we go. Back to bed again. And it's the next day. And now our suitcase is here. Are we getting ready to leave? Is this our last day here? I'm assuming. Okay, this game's kind of neat. I like it. I really like the mechanic of getting like more tired as the day progresses, that you don't have the energy to do every little thing around the house. 
spend time like that's the whole thing too especially if you have like a bigger family like my mom's side of the family is rather large i have a ton of cousins i have a ton of aunts and uncles and that's the whole thing is like when we get together with them for the holidays it is sometimes very overwhelming there's so much noise there's so many people doing this and that sometimes there's new additions to the family through new husbands or wives girlfriends boyfriends new babies etc all of that is just so much energy, so much to take in at any given time. And I always feel a little bit bad when I leave those get togethers because I feel like I haven't spent enough time with every single person. I feel kind of bad. And it looks like we actually had the option to leave this time. Anything in the kitchen for me? No, nothing. OK, just more cool jams. I like it. All right. Well, let's go in here. Yeah, more photos. Why not? We might as well see more of our happy memories. You cut yourself on the sails of a big fish? What? Ouch. Sails of a... Oh, I, I bet it meant to say scales. I bet... Uh, I mean, that makes a lot more sense. Your uncle bragged about his new expensive camera, but lost it in the water after an hour. Oh, Uncle Ted, you idiot. How can you do that? You must have stopped at every gas station on the way there. Full car, so many pee breaks, and then everyone but you got food poisoning. Don't eat salad, kids. <laughs> Don't eat salad. Just eat the meat like my first plate. I had only meat. And oh no, this time I had the salad. Also, oh no, the game, the game crashed. Did the game, the game froze. I hear the cool jams though. No. Oh no, the game didn't crash. I just didn't have access to the the pictures for some reason i just thought that the pictures weren't populating i got re really worried there for a second that the game crashed i was like i'm right at the end no it froze on me for a moment okay well i guess that's all we can do here then right that's all we can do those aren't sparkles on the fire no that's just the dying embers all right i think it's time to leave oh maybe not we can't escape oh there's other stuff to do what the heck the sink is glowy now what can i do with the sink it was a sponge. Do I have to do the dishes? I guess that's pretty courteous to do. You know, you're the guest at someone else's house, especially if you moved out from your parents or something. Do I? Uh, what? Oh, I have to hold down and then move my mouse in a circle like I'm actually scrubbing. Ah, yeah. I mean, if you like go back to your folks house and, uh, you know, they've served you food and put you up for the weekend or whatever. Always a nice little gesture to help out with some like household chores. Me personally, I take the garbage out when I go see my folks every now and then. Or I at least put it in their trash bin. <laughs> All right, here we go. Bam, clean plates. Look at that. That elbow grease helped out a lot there. I am a pro cleaner. There you go, mom and dad. Thanks for the delicious meat and salad. It was great. It was wonderful. But I bid you adieu. I'm going to leave now. Time to leave your humble abode. All right. Oh, there's the silhouettes of them all in the... Oh, what the heck? Oh, wait, what? My A... What the... Do I have to hit... Oh, are you serious? Wait, do I have to hit every... I have small hands. Oh, my gosh. Oh, no. I have to hit every button on the keyboard that it shows on the screen at the same time. Is that what I have to do? And they're all watching me. It's kind of creepy. Those silhouettes are sort of horror movie-esque. All right. So I hold down the left. I, so I can't use both hands because I have to hold down the left mouse button to hold down this uh, pedal. And then I have to do... Oh, man. This was not designed for people with small hands. Unless I can just get away with M, D, Q, T. No, I have to hold them all down. This is awful. This is the worst mini game in any game ever. Uh... Did I? Yes. Oh, wait, no. I had them all. Erg, this is so annoying. Yeah, you're telling me, dude. You're telling me. It is so annoying. I got tiny, tiny baby hands. Oh, God. So, P, J, C, I. All right, C, J, I, P. That one's not as bad. Then release it. And I'm just sort of like Austin Powersing the car back and forth. Like, I'm barely making any sort of progress here. N, E, K, G. All right, so... Uh, K N E. Oh God! Uh, curse my bad genetics. Why do I have such small hands? Why have I been cursed with this? Okay, moved it. I feel like I'm gonna hit one of their cars. Who parked like this? Who in my family parked like this? You're jerks. You're jerks because you're making my hands hurt. All right, that one's actually the easiest. 
Why are they all still watching? Yeah, seriously, you're making me a little bit nervous here. You're making me a bit nervous. Okay, MDQT again. Okay, so they repeat. It's not like there's going to be new ones. I just have to prepare to feel hand pain in my left hand here every time. JPCI. Okay. J P C I. Okay, wait, where's the C? Wait, where I mean, where's the J P C I? Oh, we did it. Okay. Any -E GK again. Okay. Uh this is so disorienting. This is so <laughs> This is tough. This is the hardest minigame. All the other ones you just clicked. Only a few more turns now. Oh yeah? Only a few more. Great because I needed to do this over and over again. That's something I, I saw myself doing when I booted up this game. Okay, M, D, Q, T, Q, T, uh, Q, D, M. Oh my God, this is so not the way that the human hand is meant to bend. Ow, uh, M, D, T. Wait, no, uh, okay. Q, D, M. There, and then the, then you have to release it while you're holding all the buttons, so it gets a little bit confusing in your head, because you're like, which hand do I release with? Which hand is the hand that I need to release with? Did I did it? Oh, H. Oh, this is my horn. Bye-bye, waving shadow people that apparently represent my family. Goodbye. Thank you so much for hosting me and the delicious food and the cocoa and the booze I didn't actually get to drink and the nice smooth jazz you were playing. Thank you for that family. That was actually a really cool little experience, cool game. Definitely, so that last mini game especially, when it's just like, oh God, what a relief to be done with that mini game. That's the relief you feel when you're finally like, okay, energy wise, I'm spent. I'm gonna leave. It was a nice holiday, but goodbye everyone. So that was sort of that sensation that was emulating that, the stress of having to back out, like do some sort of like parallel unparking while everyone watched. Absolutely fun little game here. I like what it was trying to convey. Hopefully you guys who are watching this have a very happy holiday, but yeah. Cool little game. If you guys want to try this out yourselves, I'll leave a link down below in the description like I normally do. And if you enjoyed my video, please be sure to hit the like button, share the video and favorite it. Also be sure to subscribe to me if you guys haven't already. For those of you who have, thank you so much for all of your support. You guys are the best in the world. I love every single one of you. And as always, it was great seeing ya. Bye bye. Sir, please.